Today, my partner and I are going to talk about why we dream. I'm an illegal immigrant. You're not supposed to just announce that in front of them. <coughs> My partner and I are going to discuss why we dream. Dreaming usually occurs when the person is asleep. Fun fact, most people have had a dream once in their lives. But why do we dream? We will give you the answers. What's the experiment? <coughs> My partner has been generous enough to volunteer for the experiment. She will sleep for a while and we'll find out what she dreamed about. It has been found that people's dreams represent how they want the world to be. The mind gets mad that it cannot live the life it desires, so it allows you to experience its life in a dream. We're going to find out what Elspeth dreamed about. What did you dream about, Elspeth? I dreamed that we were dying and being chased by spiders. <coughs> Wait, what are you doing? I'm calling the police. Wait, no! Hello, there is a psychotic person on film set. <laughs> Remember, kids, if someone dreams that there are spiders and people dying, they're obviously a psychopath. It is time for our callers. If you have a question, call the number on your screen now and I will answer it. Hello, welcome to Mixed Feelings in Science. What is your question? Hi, I have a question about dreams. That's what we're here for. You said that dreams represent a person's perfect reality and that the mind controls this factor, correct? Yes, the person has no control of these. Then what about lucid dreams? Dreams where you're aware that you are in a dream and you can control your moves. I have them quite often. You, sir, are a god. I'm a wolf. Thanks for tuning in to Mixed Feelings in Science. Be sure to join in next time for the next episode. Today's episode was brought to you by David's Thousand Doilies. Tougher than a Russian host. Oh, that's all the time we have for now. Thank you and have a good day. What did you dream? <laughs> if I. Where's the experiment? You dream of. Stop looking at